Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Bubba Wheelhouse, the next-gen Transbury Juice Piston Cup Racer number 6 from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the details and reviewing, let me discuss something. So, I got Bubba Wheelhouse out as a single, in a, a separate single, off of eBay yesterday. Although I was, originally I was going to get them in the 5-pack with M-Fast Fawn and the other cars such as Rusty's Lightning McQueen, Manny McGear, and Ryan Inside Lane. But instead I got him, Bubba Wheelhouse, over here as a s separate single, which was pretty a bit overpriced. Oh well. I originally didn't want to get this one on to begin with because Bubba Wheelhouse is one of the rarest cars to find. So now before we get right into the unboxing, let's show the packaging. Here we've got the red and black background and his name Bubba Wheelhouse and Bubba Wheelhouse over here himself and the Cars 3 logo and we've got the Cars 3 logo, on the back we've got the Cars 3 logo and the Cars, and on the back we have Rusty's Lightning McQueen Ryan Inside Laney who I all have 2 out of 6 and Pile Up who I don't have and Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet although I am getting the, although I am desiring the normal Fabulous Doc Hudson slash regular Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Oh, wait a minute. Correction, or should I say the regular Fabulous Hudson Hornet with the red rims, or a a a aka Fabulous Doc Hudson, Chase Race Lot, who I already have, and Patty, who I don't have, and the Mattel logo, 2017 Mattel, and on the back, the description that says, Blindsided by a new generation of Piston Cup racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves. To get back on top, he will need the help of a young race technician, Cruz Amiras, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, Doc, and guidance from a few old friends along the way, Smokey, Junior Moon, River Scott, and Louise Nash. And now, let's get right in, let's get unboxing and dig right into the review. Okay, so well, here we've got here we are, Bubba Wheelhouse himself. So anyhow, Bubba Wheelhouse is a next gen piston cup racer that is currently sponsored by Transbury Juice and bears the number six and had previously replaced the previous Transbury Juice racer, Marcus Cranksler, who I unfortunately don't have. And he is named after and voiced by Bubba Wallace, who drove the number six car in the NASCAR Xfinity series. Then in 2017, he moved up to the number 43 car for Richard Petty Motorsports. And he and since 2021, he is currently he is now currently driving the number 23 car for 23XI and had won his first victory at Talladega Super Speedway. And in 26, anyhow, during his appearance in Cars 3 in 2016, he was one of the next gen racers to replace previous veteran other veteran racers that dominated the circuit. In 2017, he was before the Florida 500. And in 2017, he was one of the next-gen racers to have a speaking cameo to be interviewed by the RSN Network. And he also oh, was
was also one of the racers to participate in the Florida 500 at Florida International Super Speedway of the 2017 Piston Cup season. And he, along with Danny Suarez, Chase Raceslot, and Ryan Inside Laney, he had congratulated Cruiser Ramirez on her very first victory by saying her blinker was on. <laughs> Although it was a little bit funny. Was it actually funny? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. So with that, and during his diecast releases, he was released as a single who I already unboxed and in the five pack which I had previously mentioned and, and and since then he has been one of become one of the rarest cars to find anyhow without any further ado let's dig right into the review here we've got his grumpy facial concerned face grumpy or concerned facial expression his headlights and grill and on the hood we've got the next gen Trinsbury juice logo and on both sides we've got the yellow pin yellow rectangular striping and some yellow bubbles and a purple number six and black rims on the next gen light black wall light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the gas cap and a few contingency sponsors saying piston cup combustor carbon cyber and synergy and on the top sides so we've got the Transbury juice logo and a number six on the top no name signature the Transbury juice logo on the spoiler and on the back we've got the rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie and the tail lights and I'm not sure what that is please tell me what you think in the comments down below and we've got the arrow indicating a pity to lift him up and now let's compare Bubba Wheelhouse to the other Transbury Juice racer Lee Revkins so here are some differences and similarities both race for Transbury Juice in the Piston Cup Number 63, number 6. Number 2005 Trinsbury Juice logo. 2016 Trinsbury Juice, next gen Trinsbury Juice logo. Several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitroade, Revolting. Mood Springs, Octane Gain, Vitaline, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Return and Clutch Aid, Ducktail, Ducktail Spoiler, Flat Spoiler, And now let's compare him to the other next gen racers that share his body mold. We've got Rich Mixon, Harvey Rodcap, Tim Treadless, and Sp Spiky Phillips. And some of the other next gen racers that have that are named after named and voiced by named after and voiced by a NASCAR driver we've got Ryan Inside Laney who is named named after and voiced by Ryan Blaney Chase Race Lot who is named after and voiced by Chase Elliott and Danny Swervez who is named after and voiced by Daniel Suarez And that is it. Here we have all together the four NASCAR Cameo Next Gen Racers. Finally, after, after some years 
of searching and, com and completing the, pu the entire puzzle. And let's not forget the other, other Transbury Juice Racer, Lee Revkins. Well, now the only Transbury Juice Racer that I'm desiring to get is Marcus Krenksler. Other than that, what do you guys think? Which next-gen racer sharing Bubba Wheelhouse's body mold is your favorite? Which Transbury Juice racer is your favorite? And which next-gen racer named a who, who is named after and voiced by a real-life NASCAR driver is your favorite also? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!